Hello everybody and welcome back for episode 7 of our Khan's campaign in 30 to the War Divide and Conquer version 4.5. So last episode we had our first big battle against the Harad forces. We were able to crush them at this bridge which is quite important because that is, uh, as we saw with the Tug of War, this is basically the main bulk of forces on our front. So we are going to use Alatar and Palando. These two armies, well, and Karnak as well, can't forget about him. And of course, uh, Warlord Orash. Team these guys up, have a doom stack, just patrolling, or not really patrolling, but just ravaging through Harad lands, taking all the territory we can, and we need it badly because our economy is not looking great. Right. Alright, so. I think that's going to be just uh, the main point of this campaign. Now onwards, using what we have, fighting battles after battles until our economy is a bit more in shape. And I would like to use these two armies to at least get a foothold all the way up to Amrun, which might be asking for a little bit too much, but we'll see. If we beat these forces, you can go south to Korondai, and you can move in to take Krukmaur. And then it's basically just Chelkar and Amrun left, and with a bit of luck we could also try going for Ankaragme. Feynobel is right over here. I would rather avoid for now, seeing as if we take Feynobel, I'm fairly certain we'll have to contend with the Doomstack. And if you've watched any of my videos, you know that Doomstacks make me panic, make me cry. They make me sad, and I'd rather avoid them if at all possible. Alright, so for this video, I'm going to try not to go too overboard with the time. Because I've noticed I've gotten a bit too much into the game. And gone a bit crazy and uh, recorded for like, close to two hours sometimes. <laughs> so I'm going to try to stick to my hour, maybe go over a little bit. But yeah, I usually aim between an hour to an hour and a half, but as you know... If I'm having fun, and you can tell when I'm having fun, then usually the videos become quite a bit longer because I could easily play this game for hours and hours and hours on end. Which, yeah, if I ever start streaming, that's going to be a big risk. Alright, so as expected, he is uh, joining up his forces and trying to attack me, but he will have to, of course, cross the bridge. It's a lot of troops, don't get me wrong, but it's all they have got on this flank. These guys will not be able to stop us. They will get crushed on the bridge for these guys, but we'll need a fire uh, Ushuxia to take care of them. These guys are a little bit more risky with the Ballista. That could potentially be dangerous, but it could also potentially work out in our favor. It sucks that the Ballista is the captain here because he won't send them in normally. You never know what the AI does. Okay, the Harad Spearman will go down very. I'm not sure why none of these were actually chosen. I thought that the game just made the guy with the highest total defense the captain, so it would have made more sense for this guy, Troman Warriors. Oh well. I'm not gonna judge the AI, my friends. Let's save the game and let us jump straight in. So yeah, like I said, if we beat this army with relatively minor losses, I think Harad's land is right for the taking. We just swoop in and take a lot of their land. And I mean a lot. Konondai and Krukmaur should fall easily. Then that one settlement I just mentioned. Chalkar should also fall easily. Amrun, uh, it's my hope to get there, but... Of course, you all know when Izzy hopes something to happen, it usually doesn't happen. Alright, this beautiful bridge. The water looks awfully blue considering how much blood was spilt in that last battle, but... Well, it is a pretty fast flowing river, if you look at it like that, it's going pretty mental. Alright, it's so the same exact lineup, I'd say... Except, I'd love to get actually a little bit more use out of my cavalry, so I think what I will do is make like a corridor. So I'll make like a, a U-shape without the bottom line, if you know what I'm talking about. So we'll do it like that. Well, we'll put them like that, you know what I mean. Um, and the, the idea is they clump up all over here, but this side is exposed, and here our cavalry can just smash in. In a way, I hope that will lead to less casualties. But I'm actually not sure if that will be the case or not. Um, you can stay here. The Ushuxia, well, we'll position you hmm, over here, I'd say. Because you do tons and tons of damage, but I don't want you to hit your own dude, so maybe over here. Alright, Khan Akish, you do a lot of damage because, of course, you're positioned higher than your recruits. So we'll have to move those forces once the battle starts. Step tribesmen, you are kind of useless. I mean, you're good for once cavalry pushes through, but I don't actually think they had any cavalry. So you don't have to worry about them. 
Actually, I think the Stepper Archer would technically also fire over the Dwarves because they're so tiny, but I'm not sure how the Dwarven hitbox works. Keep you in the back. Stiff Beard Archers, if you could position yourselves over here. Stepper Archers, if you could position yourselves over here. Actually, who has a better range out of Stiff Beards and Stepper Archers? 150, which is decent, and 150, which is the exact same. So it doesn't matter. Okay, is that all our forces? We're pretty light on infantry, it seems. Is that truly all our infantry? No, I guess it is. Alright, well, so be it. No, actually, where did... No, you're there, okay. Um, okay, then all the archers I'd like to team up. And I forgot about you. Where are you? You're over there, which is fine. You're over here, which is fine. You're over... Here? Oh, you're just two units clumped up. Let's not do that. Uh, you, Palando. Mm, not sure about the positioning of these lads. Alright, they will go there. This will open up the corridor. Cavalry can just smash in. I mean, this is a bit of a different strategy than what I'm used to, so I'm not sure if it'll work out. But uh, we'll see. Where are you? You're over there. Alright, well, let's. Give it a go, eh? Just mostly worried about their ballista. Might have to change my lineup a little bit depending on how they use their ballista. This is always an unknown factor. Oh, they're actually, yeah, they need to come. Hmm, actually, they need to come all the way from over there, so I might just send the cavalry force then to snipe their ballista, because that's the one coming in, right? I actually don't see it anywhere. Oh, is this the one with the ballista? No, they don't have a ballista. Uh, that, that works in our favor, actually. I'm just sorry for the pausing, but where is that ballista? He's in here somewhere. Then again, it was a small unit, so I imagine it's only one piece of ballista equipment. Ah, he's all the way back there. So yeah, by then, we should have mopped up these guys. And we should be able... Alright, time for the sandwich. They also do not have a general, so this should become very easy. Oh, they're already routing. Alright, uh, archers, stop firing for now, please. Stop firing, stop firing, stop firing, stop firing. Just gonna hit your own guys. Actually, you need to... Horns made of clay! No, it's stop. I still have the trollmen to worry about. So you can actually fire on them. Alright. Maybe I should have waited a little bit longer before springing the trap. Ah oh, well, imagine the general will die soon. I think it's actually this unit. You know what I'll do? Send them to Shuxia. They will run through my own units, but I don't think they damage them. Why? Where are you running? Can you not? I guess they're chasing the runners. Yeah, that two two guys, Southern Arches. <laughs> We just run through, I don't think we'll hurt our own units, and we will damage them, like, super hard. Come on, run through, run through. Don't give a fuck. Do not give a fuck. Oh my god, it's just a, such a thick pile of enemies, they have a hard time just ramming through. Come on, ram through. Do not get slowed down. Keep moving. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Oh, I love you, chariots. I love you. I'm sorry for hating you early on. You're amazing. Yeah, we can take down that ballista before we go. Ah, oh, we lost one of them. Ah, oh, well, that's okay. Now, if we just charge into them. That should give them something to think about. Maybe we shot them with their own crossbows. That's actually a possibility. Go nuts! Oh, they're going nuts! Nice! Beautiful! 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 Come on, keep charging. Don't get bogged down. Only half the enemy force Surprised the general is still alive. They lose their will to fight. Oh my god, these chariots are nuts. We're losing some, which is sad, but we can soon train our own ones. And they might just replenish, depending on how many other casualties we suffer. Alright, they're running. So let's send across the cavalry. Let's slow down the game, actually, for a bit. Or pause it for a second, why not? Um, Alright, we lost a couple units, not gonna lie. 8%. Hmm. Let's get the trap ready for the next army to pop up. But of course, 
uh, Arcani. But of course, we shall have cavalry on the other side already. So Karnish, you should, yeah, Karnarka should also move out. Do they have archers? Actually, I didn't really check. They do have some archers. So we need to be careful. No, no. Why is it so fast? No, 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 no. Slow down. Slow down. Let's make sure we run down these lads. There's all our cavalry actually on the other side, if at all possible. Let's make sure these guys are fired at will on. Uh, so we actually lost the crossbowmen of this unit. I didn't know that was possible to lose like a specific section of a unit. All right, keep moving. You guys should all be in a decent position soon enough. Yeah, that's all right. You guys can hold. Oh yes, 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 yes. All right, keep moving, lads. You need to be fast as fuck. He flees like an old woman, man. Out of all the voice lines and com you know extra comments and all that jazz, nothing beats the Mongols. All right, chariots. Well, if they're not gonna do anything, then that's fine. But where is that ballista? There it is. Oh, so lonely. Oh no, it's already trying to set up a snipe, eh? These other gym archers are completely ignoring me, which is great. Love to see that. Do they have archers here? Yeah, they do. No much here though. I'll just be able to uh, make a sneaky play. Actually, just charge in there. Right, Karnakis, you can go nuts. Archers, you're all ready to go. They're playing this horrible. They're playing this about as well as I would. There's the runners. Just take them down. All right, that should take care of that ballista unit handsomely. That should be their general dead. Yeah, there he is. Kill the runners. Disperse them, kill them. Not sure how that general is still alive, but get him anyway. Right on the bikes. You guys have also a job ahead of you. He's just running through. See how that general turns tail and flees like a whipped dog. Hmm. Should have left one unit behind you. Yeah. How is he still alive? Oh well, at least he's running, so at least takes care of that. All right, hello, boys. Spring the trap. Send over unit of cavalry. Okay, do so far so good. Nine percent versus forty-four percent. Very good. Yeah, I I really don't understand how this guy's still alive. Oh, I think he's dead. No, oh, there we go. <laughs> Just ran him over. Boom. <laughs> he pretends to be a lion, but he seems more an ostrich. Such eloquence, such beautiful poetry coming from the cons. The cons. Ah, actually, I still had a fucking cavalry unit here. I was smart enough, but not on purpose. Instead of victory. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't run in there. Shoot them is what I'm trying to say. Don't just blindly run in there. It's a bit silly. Charge them. Don't give a damn. Yes, beautiful. They're no starting to regret their decision. Some of the warbands still hanging in there. Hope they ride soon. Push back a little bit because otherwise you're going to get sandwiched like crazy. Karnakish! Yes! Slaughter them. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Right, so far so good. Run out. Otherwise you're going to get sandwiched by those spikes. Ushuxia, keep firing on them. Oh, you're doing tons of damage. Beautiful ladies of the Ushuxia. I guess the Ushuxia are like a Karnish tribe or something like that. Right. Instead of victory. Are you watching the same battle I am? Because I'm not really feeling that. I feel a great sense of victory approaching. Alright, if he's just gonna stand still, I'm gonna send in my storm riders just to charge those lads from behind. 
<laughs> Hello, Warband. Let's keep an eye on our troops there. Sneak past the bikes and ram their behind. I feel like most of my commentary can actually be put into like a pornographic movie and it would still make sense. Ram them from behind, lads! They're actually being rammed from behind by a woman. Or multiple women. Which makes it even worse. Hello there! That should route you up properly, doesn't it? That should scare the piss out of you. Oh no, we're losing more of them. No, that's not good. Pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out. I thought they'd run quicker, seeing as the general's dead. They are quite resilient, I'll give them that much. Alright, not to worry. Maybe a couple shots will uh, show them the way. We can kill those Haradrim archers already. Oh no, those guys are pushing in. That's okay, we can push our chariots through our own forces. Just wish these guys would have already routed. They are quite annoying. Surely this should route them. No? Not even with the casualties and the extra layer of fear that we invoke and the death of your general? Still not? Brazilian bunch. Mm. Now we're getting some runners. Nice. That's okay. Our other cavalry can take care of them. I hope we uh, get some of our Shuxia back, but I think we will. Beautiful. Alright. Mr. Palando, can I actually put you here? No, it's no, no, no. Uh, you stay wherever the fuck you are. You stay like that. Palando, you come in here. Uh, you guys. Oh, God. I've lost most of my infantry. It sucks, but again, we are a cavalry nation, so. It's less of an issue to lose them, I imagine. You can push yourselves there. That'd be great. Badly bloody. Right, say you stay on this side. Karnakish, if I could have you coming over. I wish you had your Serpent Elixir twice, that'd be quite nice. Sadly, you do not. Hmm, a bit scared of those pikemen. Now is our time. That seems to be our motto. This makes sense for like, oh, Stepper Tribesman, where are you going? I forgot to move you back. Okay, well, what are we still dealing with here? Mm, these guys seem to have come back to their senses. The pikemen are coming in. Let's just keep shooting them. Still have plenty of ammo with our Blacklock engineers and they can do tons and tons of damage. You guys shouldn't be too aggressive, mate. Be on defensive. Let the archers do most of the work here. Already suffered a numerous amount of casualties, but it's just our infantry really. Still have all our archers left, all of our cavalry left, which is our main strength. Wisdom of the East. Yes, some wisdom. Kick their ass. Kill them. And be done with it. Alright, so Karnaka should invoke some fear into their hearts, I imagine. The body piercing shots of the chariots should do plenty of damage. Of course, we lost our crossbowman here, and this guy. It's not in the mood to fire, he's like, no, nah, I'm not going to do that. Ain't my job, Dad. Ain't my job. Fire! Pew, 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 pew. Look at them just falling down immediately. Those Blacklock Engineers did so much damage. Alright, we're getting some runners. If we can crush this army, I will be a very happy man. That should open up a lot of possibilities. Because y'all were giving me some grief that I wasted a lot of the Blue Wizard's troops, and in fact, I did. But all in all, now we're going to have free reign over this land. Getting a lot of runners. Oh yeah, oh, they're gone. Alright, let's make sure that no one's firing anymore, because we're just going to get friendly fired up the asshole. And let's just send in our cavalry to mop them up. And this is the nice thing about playing as Khand. Once they run, we have all the cavalry in the world to run them down. Look at that! That's still 20% of like their combined forces remaining. And I very much intend to get all of them down. Yes, slaughter them. Let them fight to the death if they want to, it matters not. 
Mop him up, boys. Mop him up. Sure to kill the Troman warriors. Never want to see them again. I do imagine we'll actually see plenty of them. All right. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Very good victory. Exactly what I needed to get me back into this campaign. 23% losses of which will probably heal a couple. Lost some of the Shushia, the shish kebabs. So I hope I get them back. And a couple of runners still here. Run, little serpent guard, run! And you are gone. Two more warbands, kill them. I want them all dead. Come on, kill them. Again, I might be inclined to actually ransom. Because it would give me a lot of gold. I would simply have to face him again, but I don't think that's too much of an issue. Ushuxia, alright, we healed two. We lost nine. Three of which friendly fire, which I half expected. Nomad warriors, they did quite well. No, actually they didn't, never mind. Ushuxia Storm Riders did amazing, as expected. Blacklock Engineers also just an amazing unit all around. Alright, good shit. We'll see how much money they throw towards us, because most of what we killed was or captured was pretty scrappy units. But if it's like two to three thousand, I think I'll just accept it, honestly. It doesn't entirely fix my economy, but I mean, it's something. It is something, and it's not like we actually lost that many forces for it. So if we fight them again, it will probably be in a siege battle, which we can just out-siege them. Melkor did point out that I can lure out the enemy by pulling away some troops so they think they have an edge, but then we just have reinforcements. That's a possibility, but I think in these battles I just fully siege them out just to replenish, uh, not replenish, but deplenish, I guess, if that's a word, their numbers. Reduce their numbers, I'm trying to say. Alright, so let's see what they throw towards us. It better be a big pile of cash. It's not said that they will accept it either way. 6,000? Hell yeah, I'll take that. That puts me in the black. Oh, they can't afford it. Okay. Sad life. It was too good to be true. <laughs> well, we badly need our allies. I mean, we have Gondor and the Lamroth, I guess, but they're not doing much to help us out. Oh, and the economy is just getting worse. Talk to dwarves available for the military unit. Like I can afford it, you nuts. Have I talked to Dale yet? Am I trading with Dale? I am, okay, that's good. Oh, hello, Erebor. Hello there. Find my map information for, uh, I don't know, 100,000? I'm probably not gonna accept that. Uh, let's, let's try 2,000. It's actually balanced. No, okay. Uh, no, no problem. Calm down. What about 1.5k? Worth a shot? You're rich, you can afford it. No, okay, whatever. What do we get? Something good, I hope. Step tribesman! Hey, I feel like I'm gonna get. keep getting the shitty units. So, Sia Khan's actually my capital. Right, I should probably move it back to Sabutsa Khan at one point. But because we lost Sabutsa Khan at one point, it became our capital. Uh, you. Well, I was gonna send you towards Korondai, but you are very close to Krukmaur. Both are castles? Yeah, both are castles. So, that doesn't make much of a difference. Oh, hello. Well, I think I'll just besiege you and you'll probably send some forces to attack me. Five turns. Captain Yada. Krukmaur, what do you have? Ah, scraps. Yeah, you don't like me, but I don't like you either, so that works out. Construction complete of the Nomadic Confederation Camp. Well, we can at least get a glimpse of the units we'll be trading soon. Uh, Ferryak Swordsman, those are actually new. 1114. Six charge, though. So, an all right unit. Ferryak Bowman, 7 5, 13 defense. 180 meters. Higher. Okay, so it's, it's an all right unit. Nothing too crazy. Wind Riders of Kant, yes, like them. Ushuxia Storm Riders, yes, love them. Definitely want some of them. And then the Variac. Shouldn't I also be able to get Variac Lancers? What are they? Wait, whose dick do I have to suck for some Variac Lancers? You promised me Variac Lancers, goddammit. Do I not have 60% culture? I have 60% culture, right? No, 51. Oh, okay. I guess that's why they're not popping up. Any other units that I can't see yet because of 60%? No, just the Lancers. Alright, well, we'll get there. Don't worry about that. Culture is improving. 
Usually it shows how it's improving. Is it improving? Eh, uh, roads? No, I guess it's not improving. Nothing really gives culture. Ah, oh, wait, we have this. That improves culture. Good. It also boosts population. We actually have quite a healthy population here. Alright, Mr. Alata, you're gonna take your sweetest time, but then we're gonna keep moving those armies together. So, oh, what the hell is the. Where did you come from? Didn't I? I toggled Fog of War last time. I didn't actually see you anywhere. <sighs> I've already said how much I hate Harad. They're gonna keep pulling this shit off, I swear to God. So now I have to send Alatar over. What I could do is send over a smaller force. Like, just cavalry. Could do that. Could do that, actually. And then Alatar can keep moving. So I'll send over Urash with the horse archers, the Kandish raiders, and some nomad horsemen. And the other Kandish raiders. That should be plenty to defeat that guy. They can move pretty fast. So they can get them before they can besiege us. And we'll just uh, annoy the living piss out of them with our skirmish cavalry and our wind riders. And then he can keep moving. Yeah, that's good. So I hope he attacks me at Krukmaur and we can have a fun battle and crush their skulls. It won't be easy, but... Won't be exactly difficult either. Yeah, we're not doing too good, but... We're getting there. Well, Bamari should be able to hold against this lad. Okay, well I think that's the end turn then. So all in all, it's still gonna be a tough campaign, but... I mean... It all just kind of depends on what the AI does, and I don't like that. Because uh, if you watched my Edit Luin video of today, I held onto Boozer of Doom and Bree sent in a Doom stack to take it out, passing through enemy lands, ignoring enemy armies, they just wanted to kick my ass. So they ignored everything else and completely went after me. If Harad would do the same thing, and they would ignore Gondor and Olamroth, and they just focus on me entirely, they could crush me, no doubt, easily, no problemo. So it all depends on how much, on how willing they are to throw resources our way. I'd be almost inclined to go for a ceasefire with Harad and just focus on <laughs> killing Rune, because right now Rune's looking awfully weak. Alright, they took the bait at Krukmaur. Good. I think this will be an easy fight. Right? Bounce of Power is pretty much in the middle, but it's me, you know? Alright, not worried about that except for the pikemen. Some small cavalry troops there, but nothing special. So it's the warband that's the general, then the cavalry, and this is a pretty shoddy unit. Okay. This should be alright. They have one small unit of cavalry, which is of course also the general, so we will focus on taking it down, and then everything else should be a cakewalk due to our superior cavalry forces. Okie dokie. Interesting. My brother was eager to heat a dream and see for him Lardris, Boromir, the Council of Elrond. So it was actually the plan to send Faramir to the Council of Elrond. I did not know that. Oh, look at this hill. Oh, oh, beautiful. Let's see what the best position would be, because they of course also get a hill. Well, to be honest, over here is a pretty sexy position. Thing is, we're just going to put our infantry down somewhere and then use our cavalry to just annoy the living piss out of him by charging his archers and all that jazz. So I think I'll just put my troops here. This is a nice hill. Uh, let's get all the archers together. Seems they merged some of my troops because I distinctly remember not having 121 stiff bit archers. Which I don't really like it when he does that. But okay. Uh, let's make sure you're not on skirmish mode. Then the little infantry I have will put close behind. Could put them in front, but I don't want to risk them getting shot. Uh, the one-step tribesman. The lone warrior! Look at him! Look at me, daddy! I'm a unit! Oh, he's excited. Ah, oh, he's like, fuck yeah! It's hilarious, man. <laughs> Alright, then. The cavalry regiment. Oh, look at that. In all its glory. So, okay. We will send the horse archers preliminary to deal with... I guess I could count the Ushikshira among them. To deal primarily with the Southern Lancers. And then all the other cavalry can already start assisting 
in dealing with the others. I'll leave the Ushuxia in the back because I only want to use them when I'm 100% sure that I want to use them. Uh, so this is a shoddy unit and that's the cavalry we want to take care of. Actually, I could fairly comfortably send my Ushuxia after them because this unit, I don't think I had any... Oh wait, they did have archers. Never mind, never mind, never mind. I thought there was one army that did not have archers. It's this army. Alright, beautiful. And Ushuxia, you know what to do. Fire on the Trollman Warriors, sure. They are quite dangerous. I guess I'll leave the skirmish mode on. Might actually help out a bit. Right, I'm gonna pause a couple times in this video because um, I need to control so much cavalry at the same time, it's gonna be very difficult. Oh, they're camel right? No, wait, one second, that's not their general. Hang on a minute. Where? Oh, he's a. Oh, he's got both. Alright, never mind. He's got lances and camels, so let's just shoot the camels. So, one more cavalry unit than I anticipated, that's fine. Right, they're being shot at. I hate when you double click and sometimes turns the camera around and you're all like confused. Alright, so when the camels are down, I can just send Karnakish in to deal with those archers. I'm not really sure he knows what he's doing. Alright, camels are down. Charge the archers. Kill them. Easiest crushing win of my life and a free Krukmaur. Uh, let's pause for just, uh, up just a second because yeah, I need to keep my bearing straight. I hope you understand. I normally try to avoid using pause too much. I know I do it quite a lot, but I try to avoid it. But we're facing three armies at the same time here with a lot of cavalry that needs to be micromanaged pretty well, otherwise it's not gonna go well. For example, these guys need to start moving, draw them towards our infantry horde. We should see you need to be a little bit more careful about the archers. You charge in against the Haradrim archers. Not sure how Karnak is suffering so many casualties. Should be able to crush them relatively easy. Don't be on defensive mode. Charge them. Pass for a second. Of course we are. What did you expect? This Haradrim archers are as good as dead. Oh bloody hell. Let's bring in his spears. No, they're routing. Actually, where's their general? Seems to have survived the onslaught. He's actually over here? Yeah, there he is. Okay, so he'll die very soon. Don't have to exactly move our troops back to that. Kill them. Run them down. Come on, there's too many of them left. Run them down. Oh no, we're gonna let so many stay alive. Don't do that. Alright, move out. Actually, go back to skirmish mode. Nice. Alright. So he's dead. Well, not dead, but he's running. Uh, just ignore them. Let's head to the marches are back. But I think our marauders will take care of them. Unless they're going at it from an awful angle, which they might be. Cavalry. Okay. Ah, whew. Exhausting battle, man. Trollman hunters. They're not going to do much. They're going to come over and die. Right, Kanaka can take care of these lads relatively easily. Should route them. I don't want to rush into the spearmen. Ramming into the archers is one of my favorite pastimes. Alright, beautiful. I'm still going to stick to my position. Fire on those trollmen. 
pause for just a second just to see where everyone is. All right, they're over here, they're over here. Pull them back. You can go back to skirmish mode. Oh, well, actually, you shouldn't counter traders because you're out of ammo. Marauders can focus on running them down. It's fine. All the other cavalry is getting into position. Somewhat. You're not, for some reason. I guess I misclicked. Storm Riders are going nuts on the Trollman Hunters, which is a good target. But you should fight on them. Okay. It's all in all. It's looking pretty good. 4% versus 22%. Quite the difference. Well, we could also charge into those archers. If we could take off or take down all the separate archer units, that'd be great. Because melee will be a quick win with the cavalry smashing from behind, if they can even get to us. So far they haven't been exactly lucky in that aspect. Charge the archers! Send them to a quick grave. Alright, careful for those spears. He's not engaging me in melee just yet, but I will actually move my infantry forward now. I'm a little bit scared of him. Oh, there's hard your marches. Run into them. Be careful though that they don't shoot you. Because you are of course weak to archers, but they're not fighting. So Karnak is just somewhere over there, right? Yep. Ah oh, yes. Like a hot knife through butter. Nice. So that kind of panicking, they don't really know how to position themselves, so we're actually gonna move our Autocarni here. Now archer should also reposition. Clan Arkish, you're running headfirst into some spearmen it seems, just ignore them. Nice, that worked out. <laughs> Keep moving. Victory is well within our grasp. I, will see this I know I'm risking my Ushuxia a little bit, but they just do so much damage. Get into position. Get into position. Cavalry, come over. You run into them just head first. Boom! Talk about a counter charge. Alright, run through. Do not get bogged down. Cavalry, get yourself into position. Run into them already. Kanak, where are you? You're over there. Beautiful. Alright, reposition and get ready for a second strike. And fire on them in the meantime. Beautiful. Wow, this battle's all over the place. I'm doing a bit of beast mode right now. I'm gonna try not to pause for now. Yes, keep moving. Alright, it's kind of. I should run into them. I know it's a bit head first into spears. Actually, don't run into them. Run into them. Alright, 7%. Ah, oh, no, you're on the wrong side of that spear wall. Um. Nice. Should route them. Yep. Sadly, they're not routed yet. Horns made of clay. You all know what that means, lads. Means victory is near. Oh, fuck. Run. They can't actually catch you because you're amazing. Uh, what are you doing? Okay, good. Nice. Nice! Lots of them! Yes! <laughs> oh, yes! So we're not gonna ransom these guys because I think they might just go back to Krukmaur and I'd rather just hold on to Krukmaur. I'm not sure what the force from Krukmaur was, but I'm, I don't know if we dealt enough damage for a stinging blow against them. A worthless foe! Please like a whip dog. Damn, he's dead! Boom! My god, what a lovely battle this is. Ah, this makes the blood pumping. 
All right, infantry. Um, I'll just stop fighting for now. All right, they're routing, so if you could just run them down. Let's make sure that we're all running down stragglers. We do want to, of course, kill as many as possible. It's already 88%, so if we take care of these pikes, that should be most of their forces dealt with. Alright, this bike one should run. There we go, another one bites the dust. I actually think that horse uh, general was from Krukmaur. That's the army we dealt with first, so... Alright, don't let them fight to the death. They are pikemen, they are quite dangerous. We can let them run, that is preferred. Oh, my friends. You see what I mean? Khant has so much potential. With the dwarves and with the cavalry, we are one of the strongest unit-based factions there is. Our economy is in shambles, we're up against some tough foes, but we can field some real nasty armies, some really strong armies that most factions would have a hard time dealing with, unless they have a cavalry advantage. That's the thing, if we have the cavalry advantage and we seize the cavalry advantage, my god, we can have these kind of victories like all day. As hectic as this was, all in all it was a pretty easy win, we just had to Smash them with the cavalry, you know? <sighs> wow. Wow, 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 wow. What a good battle. I'm a little proud of myself. Look at that. I know Izzy fucks up most of the time, but sometimes you get these moments of gold where your nomad axeman does absolutely nothing. <laughs> doesn't die, he doesn't fight, he doesn't do anything. Alright, the so 277 by the Variac Nobles, 150 by the Ushuxia Storm Riders, keep them a bit in back. They managed to catch one prison, I'm not sure how they do that. Maybe they're like driving by with their chair and just pick someone up, plump them down or something, throw them into cuffs. Uh, so I think the Vedic Nobles did the most damage, but it mostly is prisoners that we caught. Stepper Tribesmen, our one guy did nothing, but he did survive. Marauders did quite well, Carnish Raiders was doing a lot of damage. Uh, yeah, a lot of casualties healed. Stepper Archers were the ones who lost the most Vedic Nobles, but yeah, it doesn't matter because they replenish anyway. And some Carnage Raiders. So yeah, all in all, pretty good stuff. Not too many casualties. It's at 10%, but we healed around another percent, so I'd say we've uh, lost about 9% of our army. Which is good, because I cannot in good conscience imagine he has many more forces coming our way. That should pretty much be the last of that, so yeah. I will see, if he throws another 6k towards me, I might just try ransoming again, because... God knows I need the money. I shouldn't say God knows, it's not really lore-wise. Um, Melkor knows I need- oh no, I'm good now. Uh, Ollie knows I need the money. I'm sure someone will correct me. Not sure what kind of god that we uh, pray to. Now that we're a nomadic faction, it's no longer Melkor. I guess it's the great eagle in the sky. For 2.8k, I'm not gonna bother with that. Execute and give me Krukmaur. Ah, oh, beautiful, let's exterminate because I don't want to deal with population issues. Nice, it's another 1k in the pocket every turn, that's quite good. Krukmaur is a good settlement, Jesus Christ. I think that neutralized our budget. Hey, actually it didn't neutralize our budget, we just got a gift. So we're still hemorrhaging a little bit of money. Alright, so he's buggering off, which is good. We'll hold on to Krukmaur for just a tad. These armies can meet up again. Um, and yeah, we'll just wait until... Actually, should we wait? Times is not on our... Times? Time is not on our side. He can reach Krukmaur in two turns. We can reach Krukmaur in... Three turns. So we could move out. Just straight up go down. Sad that we lost our spy. I was a bit stupid with him. But I could already send this force down to uh, Korondai. Thing is, we don't have time to waste, you know? He could very well send in another force, but then we just have to reclaim it again. And again, and again, and again. But we don't have time to wait. I guess I'll leave the one step of tribesman behind. It does also reduce the income, of course, but... Oh, hello there. Captain Batter. You die, bitch! What you got? Southern Archers, Southern Pike, and Hadrim Archers. Yeah, let's kill him. Should be able to kill him with barely any losses. So less troops we have to face after it. And then we take Conondai. Meet up these forces, hopefully kill this guy somewhere along the route. Move here and take Amrun, and then just bulk up at Amrun. Try to force many battles at Amrun. 
Good shit. Good shit. I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. That could have gone a lot worse, and I don't think that could have gone much better. A little better. But not always. Okay, start deployment. Uh, Southern pikemen, Southern archers. So two units of archers, one unit of pikemen. So go cavalry. Man, I lost a lot of my cavalry because he merged them automatically. Don't do that, man. All right, whatever. Uh, Kanakish are going to be quite important. So we're just going to use our archers and crossbows and all those lads to take care of the pikes. They will be skirmishing, but I'll skirmish them manually. Uh, keep these guys in the back. And then we'll take care of the cavalry with our horses. Alright, so he's got his pike. Okay, so he's not actually going to move towards us, which is alright. No problemo. He's stupid enough to like keep these guys in formation. So they're not going to be able to help each other out. Now, of course, these archers are okay ish. I can't actually check them. Okay ish. They have a lot more defense than the Haradrim archers, the southern ones. But it all matters none once you get a ballista to the face. Or an arbalist, I should say. Boom. Big shuck. <laughs> Remember that guy? Big shuck. Man's not hot. Another one hit wonder. As far as I know, maybe he's still popular in, in Great Britain or something. I don't know. Uh, just charge the Southern Archers. Um, I imagine that's also the general unit. It seems to be the case. Yep. Charge, laddies. Okay, you charge the Roger Marches then. Whatever. But I preferably go after the Southern Archers. Give them some good old Serpent Elixir. Give them something to think about, eh? All right, they are turning around. Oh, poor Harad. I almost feel bad for you. <laughs> JK. Fuck Harad. Bunch of assholes. Go on, shoot them. Don't be shy. Ah, we found our one lady back on the battlefield. That's good. The only range unit actually does damage to bloody pikes, it seems. Yeah, the certain archers just not give up. They're still steady, even though they're losing literally all their men. Seven licks this day is except for really long, actually. Quite good. Uh, troops are positioned awfully. I wasn't aware it was that bad. Luckily, we can move faster than them. Alright. Karnakish, go around. Shut down this flank here. Let these guys take care of the southern archers. At the end of the day, they're still just archers. Alright, they're done. Get out of here. Uh, marauders. Run them down. That's your specialty. Please, like an old woman. Nice. Now to just shoot the pikes, and that's another small force taken care of with basically no casualties. 1%. It's 1% less upkeep. <laughs> uh, they're dying pretty good now. No matter how bullshit pikes can be sometimes, nothing can withstand Blacklock Engineers. They do ridiculous amounts of damage. Yeah, you're in deep shit, man. I am very sorry for you. Uh, let's continue. But stop fighting. Stop fighting. And marauders, you can run them down. Actually, no. Not marauders. You guys. And get some free XP. Not that it does that much, but... If you can get to uh, Silver Chevron, that's actually an extra attack. And an extra defense. Maybe, just maybe. No. Oh, okay. So be it. 13 losses. Um, who? Marauders. Yeah. All right. Whatever. Not exactly our elite unit, eh? So that's okay. All right. So that should clear up the road towards Korandai, or Korandash, or however you pronounce it. That one place in the desert. 
which describes all our settlements. A hot Arabian summer night. I've actually never been to a desert. I've actually never been out of Europe. And it doesn't seem like I will be going out of Europe this summer because, well, Corona. I was originally going to go to Montenegro, but I doubt that is gonna go through. I hope you guys didn't uh, have to cancel any vacation plans, but I imagine most of you who had vacation plans had to cancel them, which is... It sucks. It does suck, but I mean... So our economy is almost there. <laughs> a couple more casualties and we'll be fine. Alright, so I fully expect them to attack Oibamari now, and I fully expect to withhold them. But we'll see. Um, anything else I want to do? Not really. Alright, so this is one of those few episodes where things are actually kind of going as planned. Everything's kind of moving as I expected, except for that one army that showed up at Kizilkum. That was not expected, but you should always take into account the unexpected. But all in all, everything's going to plan. And unless Harad shows up with a nasty force at one point, which I might cheat a bit and take... Alright, so... What the hell? Bounce of Power is against us? I thought we'd have an easy time. Um, not sure what the Balance of Power guy is smoking, but these guys are utter shit. Orc Scouts, they will run straight up. Orc Band also, they have higher defense than I remembered, but... These are their only decent units, the Orc Archers. So, I, I don't really see why the game thinks we're gonna fail. Um, we just need to use our cavalry. That's it. Use our cavalry! And whoever comes with the ladders, and I imagine he's also stupid enough to put his orc archers on the ramp, so they won't do anything. And whoever's stupid enough to climb the walls will have to face a strong defender and towers firing down on them. Okay, okay, let me just turn off my phone for a second there. Alright. So we got the, the decent towers. Okay, no, it was actually a little bit smarter. He's not putting his orc archers on the ramp, he's putting them on the ladders. And by a little bit smarter, I mean excessively stupid. Uh, so plan is just knock these guys off the walls and send out our cavalry uh, as such they do not get... Um, we don't have to worry about the gate, actually. Can I not put you closer? Oh, whatever. I just have to run very fast. Oh, marauders, you can go to the town square. Actually, I'll put you a little bit closer seeing as you are the captain. Beautiful. I just assume these guys will die to our defenders. Close the gate. Sometimes it bugs out. Actually, stop skirmishing because otherwise it might bug out. Come on, move, move, move. Don't leave that gate open. You'll give them ideas. Come on, move. I want that guy executed. He's already firing at me. Cheesy fucker. I will charge you, my lad. You've given me no choice. Those orc archers do not stand a chance. What are you smoking? Yeah, I'm not sure what the, the guy who comes up with the balance of power, the game director, I guess, what he is smoking, but I never really worried about this fight. It's always going to be fairly easy. Alright, he's climbing the walls, already suffered one third of casualties, and these guys are just all around much better than them, and they're on a wall, and they have towers. Alright, let's distract the Orc Scouts, then pull back. Should make them think twice about ramming down our gate. Blimey! I just trying to send them on the walls as well, which is fine. If he sends everything on the walls, they're all gonna die on the walls. So. That's completely fine by me, my friends. South on defender should be fine. 13 defense. I'm not getting through that. Worst case scenario, we can still put those Stonefoot Spearmen there as well. Alright, laddies. Keep charging, keep firing, keep doing you! Never change, can't. Never change. 
I guess that's kind of ridiculous coming from me, seeing as we did go for good con, which is very much a change from the law. So maybe change a little bit. Oh, what are you doing? I wanted you to charge the arches, not run all the way through them. Blimey, what the hell is that? It's a bit silly. Not quite what I had in mind. Not quite my tempo. Yeah, you just got a ton of your fucking troops killed by... Uh, ignoring my commands. Feels like I've said that sentence a bajillion times already. If you just listen to me, these battles would be going a lot smoother. Alright, so they're changing their mind. They're like, nope, oh, wait, nope, yeah, nope. We don't really know where we're going. Oh, oh. So I just said charge the... No, don't charge the orc band. But it does not... Well, actually, whatever. Doesn't matter. Quiet on them. At one point, they'll all run. I mean, just run them down. Alright, well, there's not real strategy involved here. Whoever runs, we run down. The defenders will take care of the ones going on the walls. They've abandoned the ram idea entirely, which makes this easy peasy. Yeah, man. I always thought cavalry and siege battles were useless, but they are amazing. Alright, he's trying to be a bit cheeky with his org band, which is fine. It's absolutely fine if you want to just... So, Alright, um, he died inside the wall. Beautiful. Yep. Uh, you're done, mate. You are done. Get the hell out of here. And we got some org band remaining. What are they gonna do? Come on, put them on the wall. Let them die there as well. Like all your friends have. Yep. There we go. So we can already charge you and you're still climbing up. And it should route you and kill you. Yep. Alright, run them down. We could try to ransom them. Might bring in a little bit of a penny. No more to us. Uh, plenty of wealth. Alright. Good shit. Is it ever explained why Sauron uses mostly orcs and how does he, like, retain their loyalty? I guess it's purely out of fear. I doubt, because in, in the game, of course, orcs get upkeep, but I doubt an orc get like a wage and he goes home to his wife or something and his kids, I don't know, it seems weird. So I think it's through sheer fear or maybe the promise of food, shelter? Is that ever explained in the books? Alright, anyway, as I thought, a fairly easy win. I'm not sure why they thought we'd have a hard time with this. Because the amount of power does take into account the defenders. And defenders alone would have been enough. If they all went on the walls, because we could just kill them one by one and the towers go nuts and pew 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 pew! Victory! And then the horses, they do like the... Wait, I'm gonna try to do it on my desk. They just run down everyone. This is now turned into an ASMR con video. 413. Eh, it's not much, but it's honest work. So. No, not even that. Not even that. I hope the orcs turn against Sauron, because he clearly does not value their lives at all. Uh, let's see what Harad does, because Harad always has to pull some surprise out of the fucking bag. Is he gonna send those forces back towards Kizilkum? He might! Okay, so he doesn't actually do anything, but of course he's doing a lot behind the scenes. Dwarven King is dead. Does that mean... Oh. Oh. okay. Let us take a look. I guess we can do a preliminary toggle fog of war. So the Snow Orcs managed to do it. They managed to take Edibor and Onazanar. Edibor, sorry. Gimli's on a path of vengeance. This act card of Edibor, but uh, uh, not sure if it'll be enough. Edibor is fairly easy to defend, so if they lost it, it's gonna be a bitch to reclaim. But I think they'll be able to do it. Alright, Gondor has a blast of a time helping out Rohan, so I think Isengard. They're dominating now, but I don't think it will last. Meanwhile, over here, Dol Amroth is still keeping... Actually, as you can see, I no longer see any Harad forces. Does that mean what I think it means? Is he sending out all his forces to deal with me? No. We still seemingly have... Supreme Reign. Alright. What the hell are you doing, Harad? Hmm, not sure. Where are your forces, Harad? Where are they? I'm not quite sure, they're also split up. Well, it's... I probably, ah, there they are. 
It's gonna see. Oh, he's been a lot of forces taking Barad Han. Okay, so we should have a fairly easy time as expected taking Korondai and taking Chalkar, it going all the way up towards Amrun, and then Amrun I'd love to hold. Kind of consolidate, see that we can fix our economy, and then eventually take Estela, Fenobel, and Karagmea, which, yeah, very undefended. Uh, but actually, it's still pretty early on, so we can still play a little bit longer. But let's take a look. Enedwai, hold Buzradum. Um, Dunland is pretty much gone. Uh, they're holding out in Birik, so maybe they'll hold out for a little bit longer. Imnardus is standing, Khazadum has fallen, so the dwarves in this campaign are not having a good time. Like, Moria is even besieging Karad, well not besieging, but they're going after Karaz Garadon. This might actually be the Doomstag that they get. Maybe they already lost Karaz Garadon, I can't quite remember. So Khazadum still alive in Erui, but I don't think that will last between Goblins of Moria and Dol Guldur. Not going to last. Angmar is also reigning supreme here, so yeah, evil factions are doing relatively well in the north. So they kind of they kind of need us to upset them in the south. They're relying on us. So I hope we can get like an alliance with uh, like Deal, for example, to win in. I'd like to get a ceasefire with Rune, but I don't see that happening. All right, Mordor, as expected, not really bothering with us too much. We're just so far away from them, you know. They've got other concerns, but if they wanted to crush us, just swat us away, they could do it so easily. So yeah, we're kind of surviving by the sheer will of the AI, I guess. Alright, anyway, let us besiege Korondai, our prize for the previous win. Uh, seven turns, it's quite a lot. I think I might just try um, Melkor's strategy by just having a small army there, lure him out, but just having a strong army, like I'll have... Palando and Kanakish, and then like Nomad Horsemen. That could be enough to just completely wipe them out, you know. And then we can take Korandai with uh, without having to wait. But in the meantime, Alatar, you will keep moving. Our economy is still complete shite. Uh, please buy my map information. I need money. <laughs> hey, I think he took it. Nice! Huzzah! Uh, I'm gonna cheat real quick. Where are the dwarves again located? I know there's somewhere over here. Scarn. Is that a new settlement? That does not seem familiar at all. Let's see who there. Ah, oh, there. Mundri. Uh, let's end the turn. Alright, so all in all I'd say we're doing okay-ish. We're far from in the winning field. We are still very much an underdog, but I think we're doing the necessary plays. Just wish we could already fix our economy. Wish we could already start trading our own units, get very glances, for example. Because those are going to make such a big difference. Really. Especially against Mordor. Mordor can only field Temple Knights that are anything good against them, but Temple Knights are few and far in between, so we don't have to face them a lot. Everything else will get crushed by Varic Lancers, including Trolls. Because Trolls are fairly weak to calf charges. Because of the armor-piercing... You know, charge bonus, lots of damage in one fell swoop. They do die to that pretty easily. Alright, again, Harad's not doing anything, really. Leon's Hall besieged. Hmm. Just kind of worried about the Sami down there. Uh, well, up there, not down there, up there. Alright, let's try the, the Korondai uh, trick. So we'll move an army away. And we'll leave these two generals with a unit of Nomad Horsemen, that should be enough to kill them. I don't actually imagine the troops he has there are uh, full stacks. So we put them like over there. Harajim Archers, Gimalzagar. And hopefully that lulls them into a false sense of security. Chalkar. That's still not enough to fix my economy by the way. I have a doubt if I take those two summons. Uh, no. You know, I need to... I need to lose more troops, but we will lose them. Don't worry, we will lose them. All right, you keep moving north. Maybe we'll run into that dwarven general. Yep, Mundri. I want money, my man, to somewhat alleviate our cash troubles. All right, thank you. It's very much like putting a band-aid on like a gashing wound, but at least it is something. Well, I have these troops here, and I doubt anyone's going to come to attack Siakhan, so we can send them to the front line as well. 
The sun sets on today's journey. I'm just gonna keep these troops here. I know they cost money, and it, for some reason, because look, I'm still hemorrhaging money. There's still devastation. I'm gonna cheat because is there any? There's no rebel army in Kisselkum. unless I was probably called Dune that caused it. Oh, that makes sense. So hopefully that should be gone now. Also, the same in Sudnutsa Khan. Do we still have devastation here? I'll cry uh, just a little bit. It is going away, so it's bringing in more cash. Uh, so a fight called Dune with uh, Alatar should not be too difficult. Hopefully they come out of Korondai, then we can move to Chalkar. And then join forces and go after Amrun. And then we of course have some reinforcements coming in from Sia Khan. So all in all, we are fielding some good armies. Armies that are completely unaffordable for us, but good armies nonetheless. <laughs> I see that as an absolute win. Okay. Whew. My god. Oh, this was an exhausting video to make. Jesus Christ. That one battle took a lot of uh, brain power. Brain power, wasn't it also like a popular Twitch song at one point? Kind of rings a bell. I'm not very much uh, aware of my zeitgeist, I guess. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, you're an asshat, but... Alatar is right there, he's right there. Alright, so he's not coming out of Korondai, so I'll just put the entire force there and... We'll just siege him out seven turns, it's fine. Or I could just... Edible retaken, eh, as we expected. I guess that Doomstack popped up. Let's take a look, actually. I'm kind of curious to know what's going on in the world. Was it Gimli or was it the Doomstack? Uh, it seems to be Gimli, and the Snoke's already besieging it. An only general spam. Gura, Draki, Unar, and Dalden. And who took Beyond Swallow? Who's taking Beyond Swallow? No one. Actually, I... Yeah, it's... <laughs> so many possibilities. It could be the Snow Wars, it could be the Old it could be Commons of Moria. What time is it? I'm getting way too excited. Okay, still play for a little bit. Uh, you come over. That's a pretty good force. But a bit of luck, this guy attacks me. You can have a pretty easy time. We have one, two, three, four, five slots available. We have five units. Beautiful. And there's Khaldun. A Harat general that feels not too strong of a force. Uh, don't join. Literally. Rather do it. Hmm. I'll just put him on defensive so he doesn't join. Oh, and the game crashed. <laughs> Okay, we'll be back in just a second. Alright, and we are back. So let's put you there and let's see that we can have this fight. Let's just quickly save before it crashes again. Let's quickly start the battle. Uh, not sure how we calculate it as four soldiers. Because I'm pretty sure it was just one guy. Ah, I know what it is. One guy, uh, flag, banner, carrier, captain is also added in there. And then like a separate... Lieutenant kind of guy. That's how you get to three guys. All right. Well, just use our catapults, I guess. Just grape shot the man away. Um, ah, we can also now see. I don't think we've used them before. The Varia Corsage is in action. A beautiful looking unit. A different tier than the Kandish Raiders. Four missile attack was a six, with high accuracy. Well, these guys probably have average. No, also high. One thirty meters. And these guys have 130 as well, 34 missiles, whilst these guys have 32. So all round, these guys are just better. Nice. 120% movement speed is also really good. Uh, but that's, of course, pretty standard for us. Archers. Um, let's make sure to properly protect... Our forces. Uh, let's not do stakes. Should have a cavalry advantage relatively quickly. Uh, we'll use you guys. Gonna use leave you in the back. Since you are fairly weak. Uh, Carnage Raiders and Varia Force Archers can team up and they can just go after the general. Should be pretty easy. Wind Riders will keep you back as well. Other Wind Riders you can go. Iron Fist Hammers. Nice. Ah, oh, that's Palando. Alatar, excuse me. I'll put you there. Let's already put you guys on... No, let's actually leave you at regular shot for now. Alright, let's go. Actually has no archers? Hmm. Well, my horse archers are gonna have a bloody fantastic time then. If he wants to run away and stay defensive... 
I will use my mortar shots. Alright, let's see if that hits anything. Nope. Not that far off. Oh my god. Holy fuck. I have dissed these guys' accuracy plenty of times, but sometimes they make those fucking fantastic shots, man. That's beautiful. Alright, let's keep moving, Lados. They are not our target. Our target is, of course, the general. There he is. We need to get him. I will gladly sacrifice one unit to keep him engaged in melee whilst the very course archers can fight on them. He's taking the bait! And we are of course skilled against mounts, so we do actually deal quite a bit of damage, even in melee. Sending in his camels. Need to be a little bit wary of the southern pikemen. Let's actually pull back. The Vatic horse archers do their thing. Oh, yes! Catapult. Making me happy, man. Grape shot. Grape shot those camels. I hate camels. I mean, I don't hate camels. I quite like camels. They're a pretty cool animal, but the unit is very tough to deal with. Surprisingly tanky. Uh, no, actually, stop grape shotting the camels. They're a bit too close. Right, what's with the fetish to go after my fucking nomads? With horns made of clay. Come on. They started dying relatively quickly in the beginning, but now they're just getting swapped. Where are these archers good? Didn't you return of archers? You just completely missed them? Oh, whatever. Alright, you guys stop firing though, because you're just gonna hit friendlies. No, run into them. Come on. You can crush them. They'll run, no doubt. Keep fighting a wee. And they should run, logically speaking. They're a bit tougher than expected. You can fire on them, that's fine. Poop -poo -poo -poo. Come on, take care of that guy, please. Are we even firing? It feels like you're not doing anything. Okay, you are firing. That's just bloody tough. Nice. Careful for that grape shot. I can do one more shot, but then it's a bit too close to my liking. Mm, one more, for good measure. It's not happening. Stop. That's too risky. All right, I'm losing a little bit too many of my Fedex horse archers, but that cavalry is taking a lot more of a beating than I anticipated. Wind riders. Rush the warband. I love the Wind Riders, man. They're an amazing unit. Come on, bugger off. So, just a general alive, I imagine. No, a couple of his retinues still there. Shouldn't take much longer. Alright, charge them, finish them off. 7%. More than I would have liked, but all in all, it's a decent win. Less for us to worry about, eh? I can come over here, although I don't think he's actually getting a lot of done. Come on, die, laddies. Die, die, die. The there we go. The lies dead. Great victories. I like sweet Great victories. I like sweet nectar. Drink of the most rare and glorious fruit. 
Nice. No one actually healed seven. So the heals are where they count. Medic horse arch and the contributors. Pretty good shit. Good. Beautiful. That's that army less to worry about. And now I think we can just walk up to Shilkar. Perhaps I should leave a couple units behind in uh, Krukmaur just to hold it. I'd rather not, of course. Actually, I should check Rukmaur, because I might be able to destroy some buildings for some quick cash. Not that it matters that much, because, well, yeah, hemorrhaging money. Uh, 185 is really not worth it. Alright. No, we got a mining network, though. Everything else we can use. Makes sense, though. Uh, some devastation. Okay. Do we leave behind anything here? I could leave behind like a separate for example. They would get free upkeep, so might be worth it actually. Um, yeah, should do I guess. Don't expect them to send out much. All right, well, just move on to choke up. I wish I could plop down watchtowers, but uh, well. I'm losing even more money. <laughs> All right, you guys come over. I hope these guys attack me and take Corondai in one full swoop, and then we can already march onwards. Yes. Harad has real difficulty dealing with these armies. Good, good, good. Um, and we have real trouble dealing with our economy. At one point, we're gonna break even, and the loss will slowly start declining. Losing a lot to corruption. Which I guess I could reduce by changing my capital, but, well, mining is just bringing in a lot less than I would like. But having some decent mines... Devastation, but devastation is just horseshit. There's still devastation here from so many turns ago, and devastation causes so much loss. Look at that. 900 in devastation? There's no one here causing it. it takes so long to fix, man. Now, ah, well, um, it's in the turn. And let's, I guess, start rounding off the episode. Ah, but I want to keep playing. Don't worry, Ismeister. Tomorrow is a new day. Tomorrow you can play again. Alright. Let's see if Harad does anything. I hope they attack me at Korondai. Please, 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 do it. Do it, I know you want to. I know you bloody want to. Come on, lay it on me. I'm about to take Chalkar and I'm ruined, so you better make a move. Or you're gonna get wasted. I desperately wish I still had my spy. I really threw him away. But like 70%, you just assume it's gonna work out. Anything above 50%, you just assume. It'll work out. And then when it doesn't, you're just kind of sitting there like, Huh. Okay. Oh, alright. Edoras, built by King Brego of the Mark, has fallen. Brego, isn't that the horse that Aragorn uses? I'm not sure. The Hall of Medeself now stands dull and without laughter, except for those of Rohan's enemies. Yet in the plains of Rohan, a great fury has risen up, and it will not be easily abated. Abated, sorry. Here at Gather and the Riders of the Mark have found willing warriors amongst their people. The loss of the King's Seat has seen many of yours folk discarding plow and tool for suit and tool for sword and spear. A great host has risen up to retake the city and will soon be bearing down upon it, sounding their battle cry. For Theolingas. And Adras, I love how that one message always comes up before this one. Follow through the mark. New mission, take Chalka for two thousand coins. It still displays Sauron, which doesn't really make sense, but okay. No worries, I will take Chalka. One ring in Kondoom. Chalkar is ripe for the taking. I could just straight up solve it. Let's see, what do they have here? One unit of Horondo mercenaries. I should probably just go ahead and take it. Four turns. I'm afraid he's actually sending a force to take Rukmaur. That one force he had, like, right here. So I'm afraid we're gonna have like a constant back and forth. I guess I could send a small force north already and leave these guys to take Korondai. Mm. Who would I leave behind? If he sallies out, well, I'd rather have 
just a strong yes. defensive line with like a, a little bit of cavalry, but nothing too much. Like if these guys move north, I think this is plenty that they cut and die. And you can see that no one is coming to Krukma. It doesn't seem like he is. Okay, well let's just fucking take Chalka. Why not? Then we have achieved quite a bit in this episode. Uh, can't. This is my chance to redeem myself for all the stupid siege battles I fought with dumb decisions. In this battle, I will make only smart decisions. I'm already preparing for the commons that say, Izzy, you dumb fuck, none of those decisions were smart. All of them were absolutely stupid. And I will take it in stride. Alright, let's see. Well, it all really depends on where he positions his troops, so I'm just gonna put everyone uh, back. And let's see where he deploys his troops. Alright, uh, there, over there. And he's moving them. So that should mean the towers are um, unmanned. So what I will do first is make a hole. So we at least... So you know, can attack buildings. Right. Make a hole so our forces can move through. So we don't have to worry about that. Alright, good. I'm pressing S, so he stops firing. Okay. Then we will march up with the mortar shot. I guess we can already send a couple units inside already. And we'll have our archers on standby in case he does come move through. We'll also bring the Iron Fist Hammers and the Wind Riders of Khans. We'll just bring the Dwarven Catapult as close as necessary just to fire mortar shots. Weaken him as much as possible and only then send in our extra forces. Starting with these raiders because they can get a couple shots off and move quickly. Alright, it's beautiful. I don't feel comfortable having my Wind Riders of Khan there, you never know. And now we just enjoy the slaughter. Alright, it's already coming forward a bit. No, it's having some issues. It's already killed 30. Just that volley. Boom! Nope. Yep, nice. He's trying to dodge my shots a bit. It's kind of funny to see that in six times speed. Boom, boom, boom. Yep, nice. Every shot counts. Boom. Not all of them are hits, but... Oh, that's the general already taken care of. My god, I felt that one of my balls. God damn it. That juicy sound effect. And only now they're like, maybe we should actually uh, split up a bit. Respect our corona social distancing. Alright. So now I send in the horse archers. As my voice cracks a little bit, only the slightest. And I'm gonna just fire on them. If we can take the summon without any casualties, I will consider it an easy victory. Alright, fire on them. Prop, 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 prop. They're not doing anything, they're like, okay, this is uh, our life now, I guess. No, we're going the other way. Which is not great, because they might activate towers that way. So, what we will do is lure him back. How do we do that? By trying to take the town square. He'll be like, no, I have to go back. So he realizes once I get too close to the town square, he's like, oh, no, I need to move back. We can exploit that. It's not really exploiting. It makes sense that he would move back. Okay, he seems to have fully taken the bait now. Alright. Fuck you, Harondor mercenaries. Actually, not. Fuck, not fuck you. You have served me well in many campaigns already. And maybe I'll uh, actually get some of you as well at one point. The South Condorians. You see an Arion? I remembered. I remembered! Alright. Drop dead, why don't you? Come on, keep chasing me, lad. Keep chasing me. Oh, he's changed his mind. He's bloody changed his mind. You can't do that. You can't change your mind. Who do you think you are? Keep firing. Uh, a better angle, preferably. 
Man, I just had a sudden craving for fries. All of a sudden, I just really want fries. <laughs> I guess that's the inner Belgian in me taking over again. Alright, they are dropping dead. And we're about to take Chalka with no casualties. I can move in a little bit closer just to get a better angle. They're wavering, they're shaken, they're idle. They're doing all the things I shouldn't do. Plop, 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 plop. Okay, you're out of ammo. I actually not have enough ammo for this, in which case I'll send in my crossbows. Or actually, not the crossbows. Rather not lose any of them. I'll send the Iron Fist Hammers. Oh, actually, logically speaking, I should send in the Wind Rider of Khan because they would fully replenish. But, uh, Wind Riders of Khan against those guys, they are skilled against. No, they're not skilled against mine. Okay, never mind. Wind Riders! Assemble, you can use a Sap and Elixir, and you actually probably won't even lose anyone. These guys are already also pretty bloodied up, most of them, so. They'll die in one hit. Alright, get in here, finish them off, and take Chalka with no casualties, claim our free gold. And have actually all our homeland back. The our men have taken control of the victory is ours. Our men have taken control of the victory. There we go. That's what we wanted to see. Beautiful stuff from the catapults. <laughs> These guys. Well, I mean, they tried. They definitely tried. All right, my lads. That will mark the end of this episode. What a good win! I think I'll just... Do I occupy or exterminate? Uh, I think I'll exterminate, just to have no issues with public order whatsoever. I want to move straight up to Amru now. I want to kick Harad's ass. And once we have taken care of Harad, my god, things will just be so much easier. Exterminate! Give me the gold. And we are actually in the black! Yes! I see this as a great victory. We have fixed our economy. I have done what Belgium hasn't been able to do in 20 years. We have a balanced budget. Our income and our expenditure is basically the same. Beautiful. Probably because we get some free upkeep. Yep. <laughs> Hanging on by a thread. All right, thank you for that. My resistance is futile. At least you understand that now. All right, so I'll just keep you around here. You can reinforce Palando if you're needed. Just starve them out. Take Koranda and then our homeland. Well, we have already secured what was most of our homeland except for Imnet Khan, and I guess that was a bit of a stretch. Everything else is now secured. Soon our economy will be decent enough. I guess once we take Koranda, we'll start running more and more into the black. And then we can move on towards Ankaragmir and Amrun. Preferably Amrun, though. If we take Amrun, I'll be a very happy man. That's always been our goal. Well, our first goal, I should say. All right, so we have seven regions, only 33 more to go in only 326 turns. So every 10 turns, we take a settlement. <laughs> Sounds good in theory, right? But I mean, of course, we spend most of our early game getting back what we lost with uh, the raids and with the riots and all that kind of jazz. If we take a look at Salutza Khand, we do now have 56%, so we're not quite there yet, but we can, of course, already get some of our more elites. And once we have the Variag lances, things will look great. And then we'll also build the Orkani clan hall and get these guys, which of course, I think, if I'm not mistaken, has a second tier. Yep, the Royal Hall, which gives us Orkani warriors and Iron Fist hammers. Also, Black Lock engineers. Ooh, beautiful. The only thing we cannot train, sadly, is the Dwarven catapults. Unless the catapults we built here are Dwarven, but I don't think they are because it's literally a different unit. Alright, either way. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm going to do that one over. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I hope to catch you next time. And with that said, bye bye.